So I should love all my neighbors? You know, Sunday's big idea reminded us that we aren't alone in God's plan for the lost in our area. It stated that when we are united and are deployed together with the good news of Jesus to our neighbors, we are living out God's dream for our church. This is what the deploy part of Journeys Crossing mission statement is all about. We are all, every one of us, deployed into our world with love to give and good news to share. Before we worry about how to share the gospel or tactfully invite someone to church with us, let's focus on the greatest commandment according to Jesus in Matthew chapter 22. Someone said, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And Jesus said to him, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Now, as was said on Sunday by Brooke, loving God is an easier one to get behind. It seems to come more naturally to love a God who first loved us. It's the neighbor part where we need a little help. Some are annoying, some are unfriendly, and some seem just so different from us we don't even know where to start. Yet, through the power of a loving Jesus and his spirit in our lives, we can love all the types of neighbors listed on Sunday. My immigrant neighbor, my black neighbor, my atheist neighbor, my Muslim neighbor, my depressed neighbor, my conservative neighbor, my LGBTQ plus neighbor, my disabled neighbor, my indigenous neighbor, my Jewish neighbor, my progressive neighbor, my incarcerated neighbor, my homeless neighbor, my Latinx neighbor, my addicted neighbor, my millennial neighbor. And you know the crazy thing about MoCo? The great thing about MoCo is that all these people might be represented within just a couple of blocks of your house or apartment, which can make the greatest commandment an even bigger challenge. You know, it really helps to remember, as Brooke shared on Sunday, that every person you encounter is an image bearer of God. And then the piercing word of her challenge. Whatever you're doing for God is really pointless if you don't love your neighbor. So let's keep the main thing the main thing. Let's start with what God cares about most, loving our neighbors, all of our neighbors. And you know, we can build from there. Why don't you pray with me? God, you know my neighbors, and some of them are really hard to like, let alone love. You know how different some of them are from me. I need your help. Please, would your spirit empower me to show love to every single one of my neighbors? I know that you can do it, and I trust it's what you want in my life. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. See you guys.